Okay, so now that we have a beat, we can see the different parameters that we can adjust to shape the sound of each individual drum. So this is the beat we made in part one, minus the clap and the low tom, which we sort of have on the back burner for now. So I think we're gonna focus on this drop sound we have here. So here are the various controls that we can shape the sound with. This whole middle row here. So we'll throw the drop in solo. We'll start here in the mallet section, which emulates whatever it is that's hitting the drum. The amplitude and decay are pretty straightforward. The noise level and noise phase settings are more unique to drum acts. Now we just tweak those until they sounded right to you. Seems pretty good right there. Move on in the membrane settings here. The membrane settings are emulating what the mallet is hitting. We have these parameters here, like the tension, the material, the size, the shape. And they're all sort of affecting this virtual drum head. So you can see it's very easy to get creative with it. It doesn't take much movement to drastically change the sound in any of these knobs. Here we have what is essentially a parametric EQ. The EG frequency here changes the frequency that the drum goes to after its initial hit. It doesn't take very much to make some drastic changes. Over here we see that we can link just about any parameter on this little board to the velocity. So if I assign this middle frequency modulation to a knob and I turn down the velocity, we hear a lot lower pitch in the first hit. So we'll probably take some of this high end here and turn it down. This is boosted way up. Try not have the velocity modulate the frequency as much. Sort of more like that. Now our drop has become somewhere in between a kick drum and a tom. Boost up the EG frequency again. Hear how that sounds. That's pretty cool. Now we can make some minor tweaks in our other drum sounds so they sort of fit together more. This hi-hat could use a little more top end to cut through this beat. And we'll turn it down accordingly. Our snare could stand to be a little louder. This sort of extra hi-hat we have, we'll turn it up a little bit, not pan it so hard. Maybe not that much. There we go. And like that, we've shaped our drum beat into something that's a little bit more personal to us and sounding a little bit better.